Green Arrow issue 19, Benjamin Percy uh, rating and we have two artists here, we get uh, Mirka Andolfo and Eleonora Carlini on art. And those are right now, are they a team or because I didn't notice? Uh, I have no idea. So I, I, real quick. I think they're splitting the present and past. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Because the flashbacks. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. I, uh, so I have not enjoyed Green Arrow more than these last two issues. Oh, really? I disagree with that. No, no, no I didn't like oh, the no. issues. Uh, just that I really like the uh, Emerald Outlaw arc a lot more than this. Uh, I'm just, I'm liking the dynamics between him and Roy. And it really feels like, granted, we've only had two issues so far. And we've had teases of the relationship. Mm. I like how quickly they're getting to the dissolution and you buy it. Yeah, and It's not like they're rushing it. No, I, I actually agree. I, I think him and Roy are great. It's just the plot I'm just not as into as the last oh, arc or two. See. Yeah, uh, I like him dealing with the politics at, at hand in the moment, and I feel this one he's done it not as hamped as this issue is better than the last one because it's sort of bit like a lot of the last issue was just kind of them in this fight on yeah. like in the just present day stuff to meet, yeah. basically, uh, yeah. and then yeah. so so the first little chunk of this one was kind of more the same. It was still them fighting until Black Canary showed up and the whole thing kind of ended yeah. on a dirt bike, and it said run the. the <laughs> Okay, Matt was really excited by this issue. Look, listen to I, what, well, he's doing noises. I was sitting there after breakfast, and my wife's sitting next to me, and I get to that thing, and just with the art, when you turn the page, and, and she's, it just has because you know, the, the sound effect there is the top left. Is, it's the first thing it you see. Is and I and I heard it in my brain, you know, yeah, and it, okay. just, it worked so. I well. actually think that the placement of that sound effect is perfect because you see that yep. even though the bike's bigger and should draw your attention mm-hmm. because that's there at the top left, you see yep. it first. So it's like ah, oh, you hear it before you see it still. Yep, and it was really cinematic that way because you would yeah. hear that the dirt bike and then it would cut to who's on it yeah. making a grand entrance. Yeah, but Percy is he? I think he's just hitting a stride right now with balancing the political and the personal dynamics of each of these characters. Like he's, he's been on this character for like almost two years now. Right. Like mm. it's been on yeah. Ollie for a while. So yeah, he did a full year of the, the DCU. Cause I think that's when he came yeah. on with that. Yeah. So I'm just really enjoying this stuff. Yeah. The flashbacks yeah. were sort of the, the, the last issue was kind of the, the them teaming up for the first time. This is, and like sort of the, how that developed this issue was how they kind of split up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, essentially. Yeah. Uh, well, and it hit on the junky themes that we get from that famous cover. Yeah, down, my ward, yeah, uh, yeah, down to the fact there's actually a panel of him with a, a needle in his arm. I had to skip past yeah. that panel quite quickly. Uh, you don't like needles? No. 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 It's uncomfortable to look at. Well, just the the stuff with, with Arsenal's brother, too, and the mystery of what happened to the dad. And we find out he was blackout drunk. When it happened, so he doesn't know if he killed the dad, but he doesn't think he did. Ar- Ar- just just to nice clarify, goal. Arsenal's brother being one of the uh, the Native Bird. Americans, yeah, uh, yeah, on the res- on the reservation. So, right. uh, yeah, so he he blames Roy for killing his dad, even though he was blackout drunk. He doesn't remember doing it, uh, so he probably didn't. There's, there's someone else at play here. Oh, of course, but we also get the the wild dogs, and I feel like he's the Percy setting up the original wild dog. Yeah, because we, we do have way. a fun arrow, possibly. Right? But he's on Kev Carson. There's even a, a little box saying, "Go read Kev Carson to see what Wild Dog's doing." Which is interesting because that meant the all that stuff is in continuity. Then there's always was. I, I didn't realize all of the young animal stuff was. Yeah, yeah, me neither. I thought it was off just on its own little separate imprint, okay. doing its own thing, and you know, having fun. Yeah, there's at least uh, uh, what's the what's the what was the last one that came out? Mother Panic. Mother Panic. That one definitely was because that was set in yeah. Gotham. There was, there was. Well, I was saying Gotham, but I didn't mean it's in continuity. Okay, well, but, sure, uh, but it Carson was. Carson was too with, with dealing with all these pulp heroes and the challengers of the unknown. But I thought, well, well, they'll just use classic continuity, and play with it. But here, the now it makes me want to go back and, because I did enjoy that first issue. I just was bad with keeping up with it. I might want to go back and read Cape Carson. They're doing cool stuff yeah. with Wild Dog and making him this libertarian guy like you know which also plays in with the politics that percy's yeah know, yeah that, that one was a very bit of ham-fisted dialogue though the way it was put there the the, yeah. the box and i thought that was probably the most awkward part of the issue for me yeah hmm. but I, I feel like he's filling out this political spectrum 
we have Ali on one side, and you got Broderick on the other, and then you have people all in between. And now you have Wild Dog thrown in there. Yeah. But yeah, I only feel like Wild Dog's even there just because that character's on Arrow now. So well, he's, 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 he's not there yet, though. No, but you have the, you have that militia, and they're using the classic. Yeah, look they're dressed the... as Wild Dog, but they're not because I think does an Ollie not even say like Wild Dog wouldn't even do this? Like he wouldn't approve of this at one point. He does, doesn't he? Mm, I don't think so. There, there was a no, there was a line in there something like that. Uh, he said even he's not this something. Uh, at well, one point. yeah, because they were they were inciting violence against the protesters, you know. So that, that's what I just took that as. It's like yeah, he probably is backing the the corporate side of things, but not necessarily the violence. Although when you dress up in a hockey mask, you, you kind of got to like violence a little bit, I think. So I don't know. I mean, you'd have to think so, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I liked uh, Black Canary's speech to to Roy to get him to sort of agree to team up. Where she's kind of like, uh, uh, yeah, there's no point in infight. Infighting's what loses everyone everything, and she lists like a bunch of things. Yeah, yeah, uh, very, very, I don't know, very, very sort of, uh, sort of current and political in there as well. With uh, she mentions like it also loses elections and things like that. But, uh, yep. but no, it was a nice little speech. Uh, now I'm I'm liking this arc well enough, but I'm definitely not enjoying it as much as Emerald Outlaw. That, that was a lot more fun for me. All right. Well, yeah. It's still good, uh, though. We can, all, we can agree still, that it's still yeah. good. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. All, uh, Ollie looks weirdly young in the in the flashbacks, though. Like I know yeah. he's younger, but I didn't realize. That's he he what, looks about 18. That's what a goatee does for you, though, Connor. If you shave it off, <laughs> man, you look super young. Yeah, yeah he, he, you, you lose eight years if you shave it off. Yeah, he <laughs> comes back home, and Roy's throwing a party in his apartment, and he's not very happy about it. And I love when he's like, Roy, who's Roy? When the people at the party. 